Hey y'all, um, I'm coming today. We are 26 weeks. I'm going to try to make this video again. I just made it, but I just felt like it was a little bit too long. Um, so I just made the video, uh, but I'm going to do it again. Um, we are 26 weeks, two days. We turn, our weeks always change on um, Friday. I'm going to go ahead and put a disclaimer out. If I, like my face, um, like, you know, squeezes up, I look uncomfortable. Um, it is because uh, I, I don't think it's going to happen in this video, but it did in the last one. I don't know if it's, I, I guess it's the Braxton Hicks contractions about to start, but all week, um, like this whole past week, I've noticed that I have started to wear my stomach, um, I guess the uterus, just gets really tight. The air conditioner just came on. But it gets really tight, um, like it's balled up, you know, like, uh, and then it'll stop. And then I've also every now and then have like sharp pains, but they'll last. Like, <laughs> y'all, this morning I was teaching children's church and um, one of them sharp pains hit me and it like was like stabbing me in my side. And when it, when it hits, like I can't help it, I'll like uh, wince, I'm like, uh, in pain and y'all i feel so bad my poor babies one of the little girls how old i think she's like six i mean they all know i'm pregnant they all know you know i'm pregnant but she was like are you okay and she was talking and she was froze and i was like baby keep come on just keep talking answer me i'm like i'm fine i'm fine and i'm keep like y'all i feel so bad because i swear we get to the point where every sunday i'm in there struggling and I'm having these pains and these little kids is looking at me because children's church we have kids we have a nursery so today we had two babies y'all they were like one was five months one was seven months so cute two little boys and then we have but I teach the bigger kids um so I teach kids like six and up um well like yeah six to like eight nine y'all they was looking at me like is she okay and my husband teaches with me and he's, you know, my husband is like, oh, she's she's okay. Um, y'all know I said this last week. As far as my makeup, y'all, I am this all day makeup. So, but I'm trying to get this cut crease slash glitter eye. The cut crease, I'm actually, I think I, I I'm actually okay on the cut crease. I just got to figure out the glitter eye. But this week, <clears throat> today, I want to talk about, and I'm gonna show my belly. Y'all don't talk about my breasts, cause, anyways, um, cause I'm comfortable. Um, this I'm going to talk about just heat and uh, what we got coming up. Okay, as far as like I said, I am. Oh, my hair. We had um, bad weather this, today. The, the, today has been ugh, all day. I was going to do like a nice twist out. I rotted the ends of my hair. I was going to do a real nice twist out. If you're natural, you know what that means. Y'all, I looked at out the door this morning and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to let it be. The ends going to be curly because mm -mm. um he's kicking right now um so yesterday yesterday was saturday um i did not i literally no lie the entire day the entire day um i went outside three times the entire day all together i spent less than 10 minutes outside I know this for a fact. I, honestly, I think I spent less than five minutes outside, but I push it to ten. Um, I know for a fact I spent less than ten minutes outside yesterday, three different times. Two of those times the sun was not out. Two of those times was in the evening. Y'all, I know by common sense that if, if um, I mean I'm pregnant, so if if it or even if you're not pregnant, if you go outside and it's hot, naturally you're gonna be hot. That's but nobody told me that you can just be in your house just hot even if you don't go outside y'all i have tried to have a plan uh, my plan was i was going to do everything normal um up to a certain amount of weeks slash certain amount of months i was going to um you know still go to the to, to volunteer at my church through the week um everything well today is sunday tomorrow is may 1st so i had already said around june ish you know before the middle of june i was gonna have to cut down a lot because 
I know I'm hot. And I know, well, I'm from South Georgia. We're technically still in the South now, but we're not in Georgia. So, y'all know, if you're from the South, it get hot, okay? Very hot. So, I knew, I'm like, you know what, come around June, mid-June, I'm going to have to slack up on a lot because I'm going to be too hot. Well, y'all, yesterday really made me reevaluate my proposed plan that I had for myself. Because yesterday, I wasn't outside at all, but I was so hot to the point where my husband even asked, well, babe, do you want to go to the hospital? Like, I was so hot yesterday. It made no sense. Um, so, we have an appointment Thursday. Uh, yeah, we have an appointment Thursday. Um, and I want to talk to the midwife. Like, hey, look, is there a point where I just need to go to the hospital? Because, I mean, I know the heat is normal. Uh, again, y'all, I didn't know that you don't have to actually be outside. Like... I'm sitting in the house with the air on. The air is on right now. Um, right now, I'm really trying to be considerate of my husband. Right now, the air, the temperature that I have it set is that it'll stay at a cool 72. <sighs> Y'all, I'm going to have to take that down. I'm going I'm to try to see if I can how to be on 70. Because, I mean, after that, my husband going to be, it just the air conditioner just went off. After that, my husband going to be right here in a blanket. Which he's, my husband, Lord, he's so sweet. He's like, well, I'd rather for you to be, um, I'd rather be cold. I don't want you to be hot. So, I don't know. Sorry, y'all, I was fussing at Tika. Um, so, yeah, I, so, I don't know. Maybe, so, I'm just telling y'all now that, yeah, if you have a plan and your plan is, well, this is what I'm going to do to beat the heat. I, um, what else did I, oh, Monday the 8th, we go. I'm going for my second glucose test. Because um, I think you have to wait until you are 27 weeks or something. And we'll be 27 weeks next week. So I'm going to go. I'm going to confirm it again when I go to the doctor. Because I, I know she told me specifically a certain amount of weeks that you have to do it. So um, also, if you are TRICARE, I mean, excuse me, if you are middle, military, you're a military wife, which I am, then you, ha you know, if you have TRICARE, um, they do, TRICARE does play for the breast pump. And if I'm not mistaken, I am in a couple of uh, military wide Facebook groups. If I'm not mistaken, they do. Um, basically what happens, like Thursday when I go, I'm going to ask the midwife. Because we were considered um, high risk, but now we're considered regular. Um, so we go to a midwife, not a doctor. I'm going to ask the midwife to put in the prescription. The company calls you and... They give you an option. They give you three options from what everybody I've been told on in these groups. Um, the option that I'm going to go with is Medela because I have uh, I, yeah, I talked talk to y'all about the um, Backdoor Boutique, which is the free place um, here on Post. And I have a lot of brand new, still in the wrapper, um, Medela bottles, um, like the four ounce bottles. So I'm going to, that's the brand a pump that I want to go with I'm pretty sure they're interchangeable I hope they're interchangeable I hope at least the nipples are interchangeable because I I already have my brand of nipple picked out that I want um it's a brand the nook or nuke that makes like transitioning from exclusive breast you know latching to pumping um supposedly makes it easier because it's more realistic to you know my breast like my nipple um so yeah so if you are a military spouse or military and you have TRICARE, you can get the breast pump 100% free. Um, and you get all the supplies. If I'm not mistaken, the person put in the group that you can get everything free, ship to you, shipping is free for up to 36 months, I think. But I'm not sure on that. Um, wait, my husband is at the point where he is um, trying to rank up. And at this point, a lot of the stuff, um, he has to like go through different classes and stuff. And... He, his weight, my husband is not a beanpole. My husband is a muscular, solid guy. Um, you know, I've said that before. My husband played football. He's, you know, he's fine. He's sexy. He ain't no little beanpole, you know. he's He has big, broad, you know, nice shoulders, uh, you know, big, muscular arms. Well, nah, his ranking, his, him ranking up is kind of being stalled because they want him to lose weight. So starting tomorrow, we are changing our diets. And I say we because, I mean, he's been, he exercises like 
almost basically six days a week um through the week he twice a day monday through friday he's basically exercising twice a day because he goes to pt and then he also goes every day um to the gym um he he we don't eat bad um remember i said i've said that in multiple videos we, we don't eat bad um but some stuff that you know we're cutting out well potatoes rice breads um so we're cutting out a lot um i'm doing it with him just to show him that you know he's not doing it by himself plus for me this whole pregnancy keeping my maintaining my weight and keeping it in check somewhat is very important and has been important to me um i don't know if i told y'all this but one of my very good friends that you know is like a mutual friend um me, my husband, and her, we all were neighbors. I mean, I've told y'all that me and my husband met when we were kids as neighbors. She was also our neighbor, too. So it was the three amigos. We've been best friends our whole life. And we're actually the godparents to her son. Um, this was before me and my She had her son before, before me and my husband got together. When we were still just best friends. And, y'all, her pregnancy was not good. Um, because she's a plus size girl and I honestly feel like she had preeclampsia when she was pregnant because her skin, I know like some women, they, their feet swell and they, their feet swell really, really bad. Her, she had fluid and it was all over her body. Like if you took her arm and just did that, it would stay for like a minute or two. You know, it would stay indented for a minute or two before her, her skin leveled back out and I'm just going to be honest. She didn't have insurance. She had like Medicare, Medicaid, uh, whichever one. I, I don't know. I've never had them. Um, but I think it's Medicaid. I don't, I don't know, y'all. That's what she had. I've always had, um, like, I'm on TRICARE with my husband. Before this, I've always had insurance through my jobs, you know, pre previous jobs. But I was telling her, I'm like, look, something ain't right. You know, you need to get another doctor. You need to talk to your doctor. Every time she had an appointment, I was telling her, are you telling them about how you're retaining this fluid? And she would say, yeah, I'm telling her, I done cut out all the salts and da, 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 da. And unless she was just lying to me, which I don't think she was. <sighs> Y'all, it's a difference when you don't have insurance versus if you have some decent insurance, decent to good insurance, because I feel like the doctors just kind of brushed her to the side um, as far as her fluid retention and the preeclampsia and all the potential, all of that. Um, so for me, that has always been something, um, watching her go through her pregnancy, you know, weight, pregnancy gain, but weight gain and pregnancy and stuff like that has always been, even when I was single, it's always been something that I said, you know what, if I ever get pregnant, I'm going to always stay on top of it because I don't want problems. Um, like I think my phone ringing, but like right now, when I go to the doctor Thursday, I'm going to talk to them about me in this heat. Um, what what can I do? Um, is there a point where I need to go to the hospital because I'm just hot? Um, you know, I mean, I know everything is OK with my son, but no, this like stuff like this is not stuff that I play with. I know he's at the point where if we were to go into um, preterm labor or anything, you know, he's at the point where. He's viable, but no, I want him to be cooking for at, in, at least 38, 39. I know 40, Lord, I don't be struggling, but you know, I don't want, I don't want nothing to go wrong. Um, so yeah, if you, yeah. So right now my husband, him having to really, really like focus and, you know, do some drastic food things is kind of sort of a blessing for me because, you know, since I don't have no choice, I have to help him. I'm kind of helping myself. So at this point, y'all, I'm going to show y'all um, my belly. I'm going to tell y'all now because of how I had to do it in my last video. Um, y'all, don't mind my boobs, but hold on one second. Okay, y'all, like I said, do not mind my boobs. This is him. Y'all don't mind my behind me this big, I know. <laughs> uh, this is the top of my stomach right across here. That's him and all his glory. So yeah, y'all hold on one second. Okay, y'all. Um, um, so I personally, me and my husband, we think I'm carrying very well. Um, 
If y'all hear something, he done left. He was back there watching TV and he's putting Tika out and he left the door open. But um, I think I'm, you know, we, we think I'm carrying very well uh, because I can still fit basically all of my clothes except for stuff that buttons up like across my stomach. Um, yeah, he, my son, he don't like for nothing to be on mommy's tummy. He ate for anything to be on mommy's tummy. Um, mm -mm. um, so basically, yeah, but y'all, that's it. Like I said, I was just coming really quick. I did cut this video down quite a bit. Um, but as always, y'all, thank y'all so much for watching. Again, if you hear something, it's my husband. Um, I make videos strictly because I like doing them. Um, like I said, we have an appointment coming up. Thursday and then on the 8th we have that wonderful glucose test again which I, I don't know I for me the glucose test wasn't bad it's just uncomfortable because if you have to pee or anything you like you can't leave the um you can't leave the like the little lab where you do it you can't leave it and there is a bathroom there but this is like uh, it's a lot of people in this lab so if somebody's in there you just gotta wait that's, I mean, honestly, that's the most uncomfortable part right there. The, uh, I mean, I thought that the liquid, the glucose stuff was going to be just terrible, but it tastes like Gatorade, like flat Gatorade to me, like, or, you know, if that makes sense, or like flat soda. That's what it tastes like to me. But y'all, as always, again, I do thank y'all for watching. Um, like I said, I am playing. If y'all see, y'all like, oh, what is she doing with the makeup? Y'all, I'm playing the makeup. I'm playing the makeup. Um, until I get it. But y'all, thank y'all for watching.